everyone, today I have my top 10 favorite MAC makeup brushes. MAC was the first makeup brush brand that I ever bought and still to this day it is definitely my favorite. I really enjoy buying MAC makeup brushes because I find they just last a really long time. Some of my brushes I've had for like 4 years and they are still going strong. I just think that they have every type of brush you could ever need and they're not too expensive and they're also not super cheap where they fall apart. So I just find that it's a really nice yeah. brush and something that I will constantly and always go back to. I probably prefer these uh, to most of my brushes. Of course I have a couple spendy brushes that I really enjoy, but at the end of the day I would definitely recommend MAC makeup brushes and I've actually bought a few brushes as presents. So the first brush that I want to talk about is probably the most popular MAC makeup brush and that is the 217. 217 is a natural hair blending brush and that natural hair is given away by the white color so anytime MAC does a white uh, haired brush it means that it's a natural bristle and so it's going to really help give a nice wash of color without packing it on too heavy upon first application. I would say that the 217 probably led the charge for all eyeshadow blending brushes because until this came out I don't really think an eyeshadow brush existed that was like this and I think it is the perfect eyeshadow brush. I actually have four or five of the 217s because I find it just is Perfect. I love applying my eyeshadow with this and just giving a really nice wash of color all over the lid and I just I find it really perfect and I've actually bought the 217 as gifts for a few people because I find it is the best MAC makeup brush and probably the most popular. Alongside the 217 is I would say another really popular blending brush and that is the MAC 224. It is a black haired brush in comparison to the 217. It's a little bit bigger and I find it really great for blending out the edges of my eyeshadow. So I'll use the 217 apply eyeshadow all over my lid and then right before I walk out the door I'll take the 224 and just blend out the very end of my eyeshadow to make sure that there's no kind of patchy spots and that it gives a really nice clean gradient and blend effect. Uh, I just really enjoy these two eyeshadow brushes and I would Highly, highly recommend them. Another really popular eyeshadow brush is the MAC 239. It is another white haired brush which means that it's the natural bristle so it's not going to pick up too much pigment but the shape of this brush means that it will allow you to pack on color. So because it's flat you can really like dig into your eyeshadow and really pack one side of your brush and be able to like pack that on your lid. Sometimes the 217 gives a really nice wash of color but it won't allow you to like build up color if you're going for a really dramatic look. So I always pull out the 239 when I want a lot of eyeshadow on my lid and it really allows you to kind of build up the color. I also think that this brush is really great for going, kind of using the tip of it and going underneath the lash line, especially if you want to have a really nice kind of like blown out smoky eye effect. So I highly, highly recommend the 239 as well. I have a baby 217 which is called the 221 and in comparison to the 217 it is itty bitty. What I really like about the 221 is that for me I don't have a lot of lid space so if I want to do detailed crease work I have a really hard time doing that with the 217 because it's really nice and big which means it blends well but I can't like darken my crease very well because it ends up just kind of getting on my lid and above my crease. So the 221 is a little bit more precise but still has that blending effect so I can really nicely darken my crease and create some nice detailed eyeshadow work. Uh, I didn't even know they made the 221 until earlier this year and as soon as I saw that they made it I ran out and got it because I knew I would love it. It is basically the exact same as the 217 but just smaller. The last eyeshadow brush that I have is the MAC 242. This is a different type of uh, bristle than we have seen so far and it's because the uh, yellow gold texture color means that it is synthetic. 
Synthetic works really well for creams and like pigments and glitters because it means that it's not going to absorb a lot of color. It's really going to help apply color. So it's really good if you want to pack on a ton of color at once and it works really, really well with creams. Also, I think bacteria wise is a little bit better when you use a synthetic brush as opposed to a natural hairbrush. I actually enjoy using this for eyeshadow, but I also use it for concealer. So because it's that synthetic brush, it works really well at like packing on concealer. So especially for like dark circles or any spots. And I just find that it works really well. I also really enjoy using it for cream eyeshadow to help pack the color onto the lid. When I want to do a really nice detailed kind of liner look, I really enjoy using the 212. It is this kind of funny little flat shader brush, but it allows you to get right under the lash line and create a really nice defined lash line and just helps apply any color that you want that's not obviously an eyeliner. So this allows you to like dip into your eyeshadow and then create that really nice lined look under your eyes. For years, I used the MAC 208 to fill in my eyebrows, and I've actually used it today to fill in my eyebrows. I really like the bristle on this brush because it's a little bit more hefty and sturdy as opposed to eyeliner brushes. I, I feel like they tend to be kind of soft and moldable so that you can really create a nice line. The 208 I think is definitely meant for like shadow or eyebrows because it has a bit of like stiffness and hardness to it which really allows you to kind of create wispy hair like looking things. <laughs> Uh, I just, I really like the 208. I think I probably had, I know I said that I bought the 217 first, but I think I've lied, I've actually had the 208 longer and I have really enjoyed using it for my eyebrows and I feel like it's just an all around really great eyebrow uh, brush. I really don't like using eyeliner angle brushes for my eyebrows because I just find them a little too like neat and Ready? I like the roughness of it because it really helps create that like natural hair look. Now we are moving into face brushes now that we've done most of the eye area and my favorite cheek brush is the 168. This is an angled, uh, I think it's called, actually called an angled contour brush but I use it for blush. I also use it for contour and I just find that it works really well. Once again, it's that natural haired brush, so it helps apply the blush and the contour really nice and evenly without packing and giving you like splotches. I've used it today. I actually use this brush for blush every single day and I love it. It is probably my favorite brush out of all of my brushes besides the 217. It's just kind of the standard brush that I use all of the time and I can't live without it. It is a great brush and works really well, especially for my cheeks because I find that the size is not too big. Some blush brushes I feel like are way too big and I have a little bit of a smaller face, so I find that this is just a really great all-around brush. For blending in concealer, I have the one 83188. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to look it up and put it down below in the description box for you because my number is completely worn off. This is a different brush than what I've shown so far. It is a duo fiber brush, which means that it has white and black hair. So the white hair is going to pick up the least amount of pigment and the black hair is going to pick up a little bit more pigment than the white. And what I really like for this brush is blending in concealer. I often find that when I try to blend in concealer with my hands, that most of the concealer ends up on my hands and not on my face. I don't know what it is about my face that doesn't want to hold concealer, it's just always been that way. The moment that I got this brush, I feel like my world changed. I put all of the concealer on my face with my hands, so I kind of like pack it on, and then I use this brush to help blend it all in. It blends in really seamlessly to my, my foundation and it just covers really well. Like. I don't find that the brush picks up too much, but it does pick up just a little bit of extra that would sit on my skin. So it's just a really nice balance between blending and covering and I love it. I actually originally discovered this brush because when I went to MAC, they used this brush for foundation on me and I can see why they did it in store because it creates a really nice airbrushed looking 
space when you use this for foundation. It's just not practical like every day because it's pretty small so you'd have to like sit there like buffing it in for a good few minutes before your foundation was done. So I really enjoy using a for concealer and the smallness of it allows me to like get under my eyes and like my nose and around my nose and I just, I love this brush. I would say that this brush, the angled contour brush, and the 217 are probably my all-time three favorite MAC makeup brushes. Two brushes left to go, and this brush is actually a new one to my collection. It is the MAC 135. This was discontinued for a really long time, and they brought it back out in the natural haired brush. I, as I'm sure you can tell because it's actually kind of dirty, I have been loving using this brush for bronzer. Uh, it works really well for getting around my hairline, for on my cheek. The natural hair means that it blends really well and it helps soak up a little bit of extra product so that I'm not like piling it onto my face. And I just find that the shape works really well for like going around the hairline. You can even do a bit of contour with it if your face isn't too small. Sometimes it's a little bit big for me, but I just really enjoy this brush. And I just find that my bronzer applies really evenly with it. And so I'm really enjoying using it. The last makeup brush that I have is the MAC. One, two, three, I'm gonna say. The, the number has also worn off, which is just a testament to how long these brushes have last lasted, and I find them really, really great quality. This, I think, is technically a blush brush, but I wouldn't use it for blush because it is a little bit big for my cheek. Not too big, but I feel like a little bit. Uh, what I like is that when I kind of look at this brush, it has a little bit of a domed taper to it. So I find that I could do a really light contour with it because of that domed effect. Um, I, but what I really love using this brush for is powder. Uh, I just find that I can uh, swirl it around in my powder brush, tap off the extra, and then just apply powder where I need it. It's not too big, it's not too small, and it's just a really nice overall like powder brush and I've really enjoyed it obviously because the number is completely worn off. So that is my top 10 favorite MAC makeup brushes. I will say that there is one brush that would be the 11th makeup brush and I couldn't actually find it which is why it's not featured in this video but it is the pencil brush. I use a pencil brush almost every day. I would use it similarly to kind of the 239 like underneath the lash line. Uh, if I had, if I could find my pencil brush, I would definitely put it in this video because it's, my, because it's one of my favorite brushes and I use it on a daily basis. So that would be the one last brush that I would recommend if you were to go to MAC. I would say if you are looking to buy a brush or a couple, if you don't have any, I would say the 217 is a great option, the 224, and then maybe like the 239, and then I would say probably the uh, contour brush would be the ones that I would recommend. I would recommend all of these, but those were the ones that I started with and I found them really helpful as I was getting into makeup. So really hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in my next one. Bye! Hey everyone, today I'm really excited because I am coming to you with my top 10. Hey everyone, today I am coming to you with my top 10 MAC makeup brushes. When I very first started getting into makeup, coming to you with my top 10 favorite MAC makeup brushes. Hey everyone, today I have my top 10 MAC makeup brushes to talk to you. Hey everyone, today I have my top 10 MAC makeup brushes to talk to you about. I heard you move. Do you need me to close the door? Do you need me to close the door? I prefer not to because my light's in the door. But if you need me to, I can. That's fine. I can't see you at all, just so you know. Yeah. Okay. I can see your shadow. <laughs> okay, go away. <laughs> hey everyone, today I 
have a Sephora and a little bit of MAC makeup haul to share for you. I absolutely love springtime and I love the makeup that hits the stores this time of year. I just feel like all of the makeup brands get together and have some secret society and launch a ton of new products all at once.